Hey guys, the former U.S. Secretary of State, Knox Tenubu government, says only in Nigeria with bandit take over military training facility. What is she? In a tweet on Wednesday, Nagi stated, only in Nigeria can bandit take over the nation's largest military training facility. <laughs> Nigerian government wake up. Uh, Tibo Nagi, a former United States Assistant Secretary of State for Africa, has expressed concerns about the security in Nigeria under President Bola Tinubu led government. Nagi's comment followed allegations made by a Niger State House of Assembly lawmaker stating that bandits had overtaken the Nigerian Army training camp in Kantaruga, raising the alarm over the nation's deteriorating security situation. In a tweet on Wednesday, Nagi stated that it's only in Nigeria can bandit take over the nation's largest military training facility. Anywhere else in the world, this would be obviously fake news. But in Nigeria, even in the most absorbed and outrageous is possible, when will the nation get a decent government, he asked. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Defense Headquarters, DHQ, has earlier reflected these claims with Major General Edward Buba, the Director of Defense Media Operations, asserting that no inch of the training area has been succeed to terrorists. He also emphasized that the allegations made by Honorable Wadulai Isa of Gantaruga uh, second, or uh, are incorrect and inaccurate with realities on the ground, reiterating the military's commitment to maintaining control of the facility. Bubar had acknowledged that troops had encountered terrorists in the region, but stressed that ongoing military operations are aimed at encountering these threats. Our troops are not relenting at ensuring the, the total destruction of these terrorists whenever they may be hiding, he added. The Defense Headquarters also confirmed his collaboration with the Nigerian state government to enhance security following Isa's claims that bandits had established camps within the Naguamara's military contaminant displaying displacing around 23 communities and posing significant risk to safety. Well, I don't know what they are denying. This is just like when you see a pregnant woman. You say, Madam, you are pregnant. He say, no, I'm not pregnant. But the front, the belly, they show. Who you they lie to? There is nothing these people will talk because every day is everywhere. You understand how these people are gradually taking over the country. These are the same people you see them on TikTok, you know, on Facebook, displaying money they have used to money for ransom. They have they have they, they have address, but they can never get them. Why? Nigerian government is busy displaying in the southeast. It's a shameful thing, just like what the man said. He said, if it were to be other countries, you go take and send a fake news. He said, but Nigeria, hmm, waiting, you know, if you margin, say, now they happen. Now, Nigeria, it they happen. Somebody talk here, say, the illegitimate Jagaban Emilako, Tiv Tinubu, okay, I beg, make I not read this one. The insult too much. Wait for Bayo Nono girl to get a hold of this man. Bayo will teach him a lesson on how not to criticize Tenubu and his government. They don't know that Tenubu is working hard to deceive the bandits to believe that they are in charge. Tenubu is already meeting with his top generals and they are drawing a military plan of attack against those bandits. They will soon learn that Tenubu is not Buhari. Some members of APC are more later than others. 
Anywhere else in the world, this would be obviously fake news. That's what, that was what the man said. But in Nigeria, even in the most absorbed and outrageous is possible, when will the nation get a decent government? This is what they ask. When will the nation get a decent government? So meaning that they know that the government we have today is nothing to tell them about. The one we have yesterday is nothing to tell them about. Could it be that God just caused Nigeria with the bad leaders? So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.